historical revisionist. History is a continuous, dialogue, between the present and the past to behave better in the future, past interpretations may change in response to, new evidence. The, old consensus, based on limited evidence, may no longer be considered historically valid in explaining specifics, cause and effect, motivation and importance. Resistance to the works of the revised historical records will present a, comprehensive, historical narrative which results well, making the function of, history, as a, mirror, of the past to better behave in the future, therefore historical, revisionism, work to clarify it, it's a natural process. Most of the world's historians revise and update their descriptions of, distorted, records of personal, ethnic, national and interest subjectivity. The philosopher Karl Popper said, historical revisionism, is the means by which historical records, the existing history of peoples, understood in their collective memory, must constantly be perfected by combining new facts and interpretations of supporting events to be understood as history. Historian James M. M. C. Ferson, say, revision, is the source of life. Of historical knowledge, the historian's endless quest to understand the past alone, revisionism, is what makes history important and meaningful to behave better in the future. Without revisionism, we might just be stuck with one picture of the notwriter's subjective, reconstruction. Without revisionist historians, who have carried out research on new sources and ask nuanced questions, we would still be mired in, one, of the ambiguous, stereotypes. Case study. Indonesian archipelago, lost, its history before 78 AD, due to its agreement we count the beginning of the year, Saka, in the inscription starting that year. The kingdom in the pre-Islamic archipelago was called the Hindu, Buddhist kingdom, when was religion born and when did the archipelago kingdom exist, do not support each other. Wayang is also a website in the archipelago based on teachings and from India, when did they come here? Indonesia was colonized for 350 years, when did it start and stop it is unclear. Johannes J. Spertus Hans Kasparus, the Dutch, philologist, in 1954 wrote in his dissertation that Borobudur was built in the estimated year 824 AD, the number of years referred to is the number of years, estimated, this is not, academic. The naming, Borobudur, is assuming that near the site there is a village, Bor, even though there is no village called Bor. Budir, means Purba, in Javanese, he says, whereas the Javanese meaning of Budir is, boils. So what is the function of, history, if we only, copy-paste the records of other nations against us, without any intention of, revising, it, and how our generation of children and grandchildren will be able to leap forward if historical records of his ancestors, uncertain. By, Santos Aber.